It is overtime here again at Bear the Monks Brewing for another old favorite Friday. And this week I have something very, very special. Uh, if I, a couple weeks ago, I was talking about some beers from Great Lakes Brewing, uh, Edmund Fitzgerald to be specific, and the fact that I was home in Michigan, I was trying to track down some Dortmunder Gold. Well, that's the can I have in front of me right now. Great Lakes Brewing, Dortmunder Gold. Uh, Mike Yates, uh, one of the uh, one of our, our fans here at Bear the Monks, a regular customer here, uh, he heard the call. I asked somebody get... Get me this beer. I'll pay you for it. I'll, I'll pay you to be a mule and smuggle it across state lines. And it turns out that he was up there, or his family member was up there, I believe his wife, and brought this beer back for me. Called up the, the brewery, just said, hey, I want to talk to Kevin. I've got these cans. Brought them by. I could not be more thankful or appreciative of, of this. That was so awesome. We have the best people that are fans of Barrel of Monks Brewing. That's official to me now. Uh, but I have the Dortmunder Gold. I've been talking about this beer on Old Favorite Friday several times throughout the years of a beer that I absolutely love that I can't get my hands on. And that's one of the problems with so many of these beers that uh, some beers aren't in production anymore or they're just regional and they're, you're not able to get get these beers on a regular basis. And this beer is just, when I first tried it, I just fell in love with it. And a lot of people are gonna think, oh, you know, what kind of crazy flavor profile, what kind of adjuncts are in this beer? None. This is a straightforward Dortmunder, which is a German style lager. And it has simple ingredients. I believe there's two malts and two hops in this, but it is so well made. It is so well done to style and it's just absolutely pristine. Uh, you can see from the color here, it's just this beautiful, like golden, almost broaching into an amber color. And this beer is the perfect thing, and I, I find the balance of this beer to be amazing. They talk about the balance on the can and, and all the literature that, that they have for this, this multiple award-winning beer. But it has all the crispness and the refreshing uh, nature of this beer that makes it the kind of beer that you can just sit and drink and enjoy. And then it stops you with this great floral and herby hop uh, aroma and flavor, this nice uh, rich like minerality that comes out of it, that balances it and makes it even more interesting. Uh, so you have this great thing where it's incredibly flavorful and complex, yet really easy to, to drink and enjoy. So you can kind of experience this beer however you want. If you want to just have this as your crusher to sit by the pool, you can do that. If you want to sit and, and pair this with a great dish and, and use it to, to pair with your food, it can do that as well. Uh, Dortmunder in general is a German style lager. Uh, there's, they're not prevalent in the United States. There's not a lot of breweries that do them. I've had several. If, whenever I find a brewery that does a Dortmunder, I'm really, really happy uh, to, to drink that beer usually. Uh, but what, if you haven't had one before, it kind of is in between uh, something like a Helles Lager and then a Pilsner. Uh, they say, if you look at the BJCP guidelines, it will say that it has kind of the malt sweetness of a Helles Lager with like the hot profile and bitterness of a Pilsner, not quite as uh, dark or as heavy as a Marzen. Uh, and I think that's a great way to describe it. I mean, it's, it is the way to describe it. Uh, from the BJCP, so I think they kind of know what they're talking about. But if you haven't had one of these and you're a fan of any of the styles I've talked about, whether you're a fan of Hellas Lagers or Pilsners or even uh, the Oktoberfest, the Marzen style, uh, which has some, some similar things going on with it, you got to do yourself a favor and try the style. Now you got to find one that's well made, like this one, and there's not a lot out there. I remember uh, Matt Manthe, our business partner from Oddbreed, he, back in the day when he worked at Bruzies, he made an incredible Dortmunder. That was the closest thing I ever had to the quality of a, of a beer like this. And I believe there's some other breweries that, that, that I've had over the years, though I'm having a hard time thinking of a uh, Gatlin Hall uh, brewery in Orlando makes great lagers. They made a fantastic Dortmunder that I really, really liked. But getting back to Great Lakes, uh, great brewery. Uh, it's it, the fact that I've been trying to try and trace down it and review this beer. It's not really a review. It's more of a feature. I, I don't like to use the term review because review implies that I'm like drinking this and critically kind of analyzing it. No, this is amazing. I know it's amazing. I know you're going to like it if you drink it, and that's why we're featuring it. Uh, but uh, they're just fantastic. The beers they had. Uh, also, uh, they the person who brought this beer for me also gave them gave me a can of the Rally Drum, which is another lager that they make that I've never had before that I really, really loved. And uh, there's just so many great beers out there for them. So if you can get your hands on it, do it. If you can find someone who, uh, who is uh, as helpful as, uh, as uh, Mike was for me, and you can get them to bring you some, uh, some Dortmunder Gold down here to Florida, uh, I, I highly recommend it. 
I mean, it's one of the most highly recommended beers that I can give to any one of you. If this beer was available in my local uh, area, this would never leave my refrigerator. This is how much I love this beer, how much I respect this beer for what it is, for its complexity. I mean, you're getting honey and biscuit malt, uh, this flavor complexity, which is just kind of next level and really, really fantastic. So I highly recommend the beer. I would I just go by, find it if you can. If you're looking about like food choices and pairing options to go with something like this, you know, classic with like German lagers, you know, they say schnitzel, things like that. But I can see this with like a chicken milanese, uh, you know, uh, the fried chicken breast pounded thin with maybe some arugula and some tomato. I also think it could be really interesting uh, going with something, even like a jambalaya. I think this has like the body and the richness to, to hold up to that. Uh, so a couple of food pairings there. Guys, thank you so much. Uh, join us next time. Uh, for uh, another Old Favorite Friday next week. Tell us what we should be drinking. If you had your chance to have this beer or you love this beer as much as I do, make sure you comment. Uh, thanks again to Mike, and uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers.